Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm going a little bit pinky stinky for this week in my planner. So if you want to see what I mean by that, then just keep watching. Alright, it's Valentine's week. I don't have to do something for it. I don't usually. But I kind of got a lot of Valentine's Day stuff this, this at this point. So I figure I might as well. Uh, so I'm going to start off with doing a background. So I'm going to use my Lawn Fawn Lots of Hearts background stencils. And the problem that I have with all of the stencils, and you've seen me do this before, is that they're only 6 by 6 So it doesn't matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to cover this up. So what I'm going to do... And start off with putting a little bit of um, white out on the top here just because I just remembered it. The others will be fine because they've got uh, Barney and Moon date covers going over them so they'll be fine. I'll just keep going straight over the top. But what I'm going to do is grab myself a bit of scrap paper. This is just a bit of very, very, very bad um, A3 copy paper that Ryan happens to have. I'm going to grab my stationing because it just makes life a little bit easier for me. Move all the magnets around. And I'm going to mask off the bottom half of this. So, I'm going to put the... I'm actually probably get rid of a little bit of that. So, mask off from Wednesday down. And then I can stencil up to Wednesday. And then we'll do the opposite when it comes to... The bottom half because and then i'll cover up the the line with some washi tape so i'm going to do a three color sort of blend down the page i'm going to have kitsch flamingo picked raspberry and abandoned coral because everything i've done with my coloring which i've done beforehand uh it's all been with reds and pinks so i want to sort of stick with that reds and pinks kind of kind of thing just moving some magnets around so that they're in the right spot. So I'm using Kitsch, I said that already, Kitsch Flamingo Pink Raspberry, sorry, uh, and Abandoned Coral for my red. So I'm just going to go straight in and all I'm remembering is that this is only half of my page. So the Kitsch Flamingo will obviously be at the top. When I get to about here-ish, I'll start bringing in that picked Raspberry and then when we do the bottom, it'll be the opposite. Now the part that I'm still trying to decide, and I haven't decided yet, is if I want to bring in two layers. So this stencil is a two layer stencil. At the moment I'm quite happy to sit with the, the single layer and just see what it looks like when I pull this up. But we may do double. I'll think about it. So now that the picked raspberry, same brush because it's all pink, I'm just going to bring that picked raspberry in. I don't like pink. Not at all. Mm -mm. Not even a little bit. I should see how much pink I've used recently. <laughs> Between my unicorn card and the, the Valentine's Day card I did a couple of weeks ago, I feel like I'm in pink overload. Alright, so let's just pull this up and have a look. I'm not going to clean the stencil off because I don't need to yet. That's right, it's just a bit of sticky, I think. That's right. Oh, I know what that was. It was where I had the Valentine's Day thing. So you see, it's all completely masked off. So then I'm going to do the same thing, but in reverse. So I'll put the mask down. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% perfect or if there's a bit of overlap in the middle there because it you won't notice it anyway because we'll put washi tape there. Hold that down. We're going to continue on with the picked raspberry. Just for a little bit because I don't really need too much of it. And then we'll come in with the abandoned coral. Now, I did think about doing another colour instead of abandoned coral. To me, it's the pinkest of the reds. So it should give me the kind of blend I want to do here. Yeah, then that's fine. I didn't want it to be too pink to red. I didn't want it to be an overly harsh blend. I wanted it to be a soft blend. 
So I'll just talk you through the rest of this page. We'll pull it up and have a look at it together. And then from there, I'll do the other page on my own. So if you sort of notice there's a bit of harshness between the two colours, grab your other brush and blend it out. And then here comes the fun part. Oh, I like that blend. So like I said, ignore the bit in the middle because we'll fix that. No, we're not going to do two layers because I think two layers of hearts would be too much. So I'm just going to leave it with the one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to use the same bits of paper. I'm going to use the same basically everything. I am just going to give this a quick wipe over just so I don't get ink on the back of my other page. But then we'll do pull off my little post-it notes and then we'll just repeat. I will really quickly just wipe this off because I just realised I don't want to get red on the pink at the top. So it's just a, a gentle wipe off with a cloth. I'll do a big clean afterwards after I'm finished with a baby wipe. didn't it it just moved a teensy bit and that was because I was blending way too hard um it's fine it's not it doesn't bother me in the slightest so it's it's absolutely fine okay so we'll give the station a little bit of a wipe and we'll give the stencil a bit of a wipe and like I said I'll come back and give that a good clean later on this one actually could do with a bit of a whoops a soak but we'll come back to that Alright, and then we'll bring back in our pages and we'll cover up this little bit. So I'm bringing in some washi tape for this. This is the uh, Fox and Cactus, I think it's called Sweethearts, but I'll link the collection down below. I got it from Stash World, so if it's not available on Fox and Cactus directly, I will link Stash World down below. So I loved all the hearts and the pink and the red, but then it's also got some rose gold, which we're going to bring in in a little while as well. So I'm going to put that down on the top and on the bottom, whoops, I'm going to make it straight, that's the first thing that I'm supposed to do. Definitely fine with leaving it uh, just one layer because I feel like two layers is probably going to be too much. Um, I was thinking I might do some splatter, no I'm not going to, I'm going to be a good girl. Why can't I make this straight? Okay, my page mustn't to be straight, that's fine. So I'm going to line this up straight with the top of the page rather than the line because you don't really see the line anyway so that's fine and then for the one in the middle I'm going to use this sort of ombre one so it's the same it goes pink to red but that'll hide the the mess here now the only thing that I haven't done was I oh so it'll be fine I was gonna say I didn't do the I didn't do the white out across the Wednesday because I thought I'd be fine but it'll be fine I'll put the label over the top anyway so it'll have sort of four sorry two sections on each page and depending on how this looks I may add the other section the one strip looks fine because it's skinny it doesn't look as bad I think that'll be okay so I'm do the exact same thing on the other side Oh, they're so pretty! 
there may be a few too many hearts but that's okay okay so for the date covers I've got some of my favorite <laughs> favorite Barney and Moon ones I foiled these with rose gold and that's because the stars on here are rose gold so it should all match um, I also did my Valentine's Day sticker that's from Luscious Labels which goes here uh, which is why it didn't ink over the top so well uh, but I've got dog hair on it so hold on I've got to get rid of the dog hair it didn't foil as good as I wanted it to but that was my fault I um, accidentally got a bit too much undo on it and I find that the undo sometimes can cause a few issues with the foiling but like I said completely my fault it's still really good though it's not bad at all now, I just want to try and make that a little bit neater there we go. that's better just wasn't quite sitting in the right spot so I'm going to go ahead and put my date covers down. I just picked a pink one. This is the Mediterranean collection from Barney and Moon. I just picked the pink. There are lots of collections with beautiful pink colours in Barney and Moon's colourway. So I'm sure you'll be able to find one. Uh, but I just picked whichever I wanted. Um, there was a red because I kind of thought of doing a, like a pink and a red. Um, I decided to stay with just the pink just because the red wasn't quite the right shade of red. That's sometimes you just can't quite find the right shade so I just went with that so I'm gonna go ahead and do these and I'll be right back haven't done is I haven't put the the extra one on I did foil it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it and I figured it's better to have it foiled than not so I can bring that in if I want to but then I have gone ahead and you know cut and colored out some colored and cut out some of the very very cute lawn fawn skunks I figured with the, all the red and the yellow here that just a little bit of sorry red and pink that some of these cute little skunks would kind of help me break all this up so I have a bunch of them and I'm just going to put them wherever I want really um, <laughs> wherever I want I'm just sort of having a look so I've got four skunks five skunks six skunks technically because you've got the two hugging so I have plenty of, of skunks I then also have some accessories for the skunks so I've got this big heart oh he's gonna hold the big heart gonna hold the big heart over here and I've got the banner which I was gonna let him hold but maybe the no he can't hold it I sort of thought that it would look really cute if the two these two sort of held it across the page I also have to remember that it is gonna go across the page because sometimes I do forget that um, otherwise this guy can hold it on his own or I could put it just as like a little banner here on its own just have the skunks underneath it and have I'm gonna leave Monday a bit free because I've got some stuff on Monday I've got some stuff on Sunday Saturday I'm working Friday's okay so Friday can have a bit so he can have the flowers. This guy can have the chocolates. This one can have a strawberry in one hand and a cupcake in the other. I'm just thinking I may do something with him. So he can have the flowers. I want to give one of them a cute little bow tie I just don't know which one that one and then I have a balloon that can maybe just float up on its own oh that actually looks really cute there oh I like that I'm really loving that blend between picked raspberry and abandoned coral it, it it's actually a lot prettier than I thought it would be um, I do the only thing I'm worried about is that these two are a bit squished so maybe rather than having that and that I might put that there because this side just doesn't have as much as this side 
I'm gonna have the little banner actually sit under the bit that says Valentine's Day and he can sit there I'm gonna give him I get very nervous doing this but then I remember that you can kind of fix it if you don't like it I just want to have it so that it sort of sits behind no it doesn't really work I have it so it sits like that so he's sort of sitting it's not really sitting under him it's just kind of sitting under him okay I think I'm happy with all of those before I go sticking them down permanently though I do need to add in a few boxes and bits so what I do before I sort of go looking through my big collection I always grab my um, call these my spares just my other sticker collection we'll just have a look through here and see if I can find any reds and pinks I may come back and use that you make me super happy I just feel like that's going to be something that fits nicely in here I do have boxes in here somewhere where are they we're all hiding at the back um, it's a Christmassy one can't use that might be able to use that one which is more red but that's okay okay and if I can't find we can use that pink all right so Monday's Valentine's Day which we've got that one on I need a box for Friday so we'll use this one here so I'll put that underneath and we'll put that in in a second I need, a t I need a happy mail list so we'll put that down the bottom and use that pink one we saw before so I'm pretty sure this one is out of oh I don't remember I think this one's from a GP Studios kit I think it might actually have been from a Christmas kit so I'm gonna have that sit up just a little bit and I'm also gonna try and find a headery kind of thing that will work. Stick with Bonbon. Bon. I think that's that one. I think it was from their Australian kit or Natives one. So that's the Happy Mail. So I need just a bigger box for Sunday, which means I might have to move this guy. I'll have him sitting there. So this isn't as pink. It's a bit more sort of, yeah, I just, I don't think that's just the right color. That's the only thing. All right, so if I can't find anything in those two, I need to hit the stash. All right, I just grabbed a couple. As you can see, I'm not short. I'm not short of box stickers. Um, I think I'm going to go with this red one, or maybe even that pink one. But I'm also very tempted by that pink. Actually, I was originally thinking the red, but no, I'm going to go with this pink. Because it's... Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the dark pink on the Sunday and then I'm going to grab this lighter pink that's just the smaller one for the Saturday and that's because picture to page at Sandown it's their summer show is on this weekend um, I can't go to Saturday because I have to work but actually that one's just going to be the work sticker I've just decided um, I have to work on Saturday so I'm only going to Sunday but I wanted to put it in there so that's now suddenly a little bit too... Okay, hold on. I've got the stickers that I want. I also grabbed... These were in the wrong spot, so I wanted to move them. But I'm going to use this little Oscar and Lou mail sticker for my Happy Mail, because I'm going to put that there. Alright, so I'm just going to stick the accessories together. I'm so happy with that. Um, the part that I'm just 
umming and ahhing over is if I'm going to put a list or something there. And I don't want to because I don't want to overrun this. I feel like it's really pretty just as it is. But I do want... I do... I think I, think I want a pocket. Alright, so this is my thought. I might do like a, a vellum envelope because I don't want to take away from this. I feel like it's very pretty the way it is. So I don't want to go too much over this, but maybe a little vellum envelope will work. So, how big an envelope do I want? I want an envelope. Now what I am sad about when it comes to my one, two, three punch board or the envelope score, um, scoreboard either or, is that it used to be a really cool app on your phone. The app is no longer being serviced. It hasn't fixed, like come up with the new, newest update, so I can't use it. And it makes me very sad. So I want it to be an envelope that's say 13 by something. So 13, I'm just looking to see here a 13. So I got 12 by seven, that'll work. But that's a 21 by six. I don't want it to be that big. What's a 7 by 6 by 7.6? No, that's too small. <laughs> I've just realised that those are inches, not centimetres, so that makes a hell of a lot more sense. Um, oh no, it is centimetres because I changed it. That's right. I was thinking that's all wrong. Alright, I'm going to make an 11 by 4 by 15.2 and I'll just work it out when I get there. So I've got my bit of vellum which needs 11 by 4 by, I'm just going to 11 by 4 by 11 by 4, let's just, we'll work with that, um, needs to be cut to 19.4, so I'll just grab my paper trimmer, not this one, this is why I'm supposed to think things through friends, because now I'm trying to do this and it's not working. Um, that's going not to be very small enough, so I'm just going to do a 10 by 2 by 10 by 2. So it needs to be an 18 by 18 or an 18 centimeter rectangle, square, ice. Just oh, I'm not good at this. This is why I don't make my envelopes anymore, guys, because it's I get confused. So that's an 18 by 18 piece of uh, vellum. So then we put it in here, and we punch it at nine. I'm gonna remember how to do this. Punching at nine. So it flips. So I think, I think over here is the best place for it because it covers up the least amount of stuff. So we'll go with that. Had I known I was going to do the envelope, I may have had a um, another critter. But I feel at this point we don't need any more critters, and we'll just go with it. Now, obviously, there are ways you could make this envelope cooler. Oh, actually, I've just had a thought. Just had a thought. Hold on. So there we've got a little envelope that'll sit there. And I love that it doesn't hide too much because it is very pretty. So I was thinking I had a stamp washi somewhere that would have worked with this. Um, the Planners Anonymous one that I have is just a little bit too other colour. So we'll just go with that. I think that'll be fine. Again, I could do something to it. I could probably make it a bit smaller or a bit bigger or a bit more square or something but I think it'll be okay I think it'll be fine I love I love without the envelope I don't mind 
with the envelope. I feel like it's just something that I'd need to get used to. But I'm just going to leave it off to the side. It is something that I put in there because I need somewhere to put some lists. Oh, sorry. One more thing. One more thing. I just need to find... You guys know I'm not big on appointment TV. I have been recently for Sex in the City. I will... Sorry. And just like that. Um, I have been watching that basically religiously when it came comes out. The only other show I will be religious about... <clears throat> I was about Game of Thrones. But I will be about The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel which starts on Friday, season four. If you haven't seen Maisel <laughs> and you want to laugh, oh my God, will you laugh? It is the most funny show on TV. I love it. Um, I think it's an HBO, I think. So it, it'll be on one of the streaming services, but check it out on Facebook or on YouTube because it's just so funny. I love Maisel. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put all the other bits and pieces in. I love the colors. I think it, it needed to just be one layer of hearts, otherwise it, it may have gone over the top. I love the little critters. These little skunks are my favourite, and I, I made Ryan's Valentine's Day card out of the same kind of idea. I don't want to spoil that, so if you want to see it, uh, please pop over onto my Instagram during the week. It'll pop up at some point once Ryan's got it, because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but yeah, don't usually go all out for Valentine's Day. Felt like doing, felt like doing something this year, so here we go. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you are in Melbourne and you can get down to Sandown on the weekend, please come and visit. Um, I'll be there with Denise from Luscious Labels and I'll be there with Trish from Hobby Hoppers and all the other wonderful From Picture to Page peoples. I know I'm only going to be there for a day, but I'm going to have a great time. So if you want to come and join in all the fun, Saturday and Sunday, I'll be there Sunday. That would be fantastic. Hope you have an awesome week, whatever you happen to get up to, and I will catch you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.